Hi, and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Lauren Nelson. And I'm Dean O'Lally. Today we're coming to you from a sweet place. It's called Kernels and Candies in Oklahoma City. This spot is perfect for any occasion if you're needing fudge, popcorn, or candy. This is a must-stop spot. Located on Northwest Expressway in Oklahoma City, you can find more than 45 flavor mixes of gourmet popcorn here. And if you aren't in the area, no problem, they have an online store. We'll show you around throughout the show. But first, we want to send happy anniversary wishes to an Oklahoma treasure. That's right, the Ponca City Indian Museum turns 80 this year. It's housed now at what is known as the Marland Grand Home. Deanne Stein shows us around. When you step inside Marlin's Grand Home, you step back in time to the early 1920s. But one thing you might not expect to see here is the vast collection of Native American artifacts. It's the best kept secret of Northern Oklahoma as far as museums go. The Marlin Grand Home sits quietly along East Grand Avenue in Ponca City. The home in and of itself is an artifact. Built in 1916, it was the first mansion home of Oklahoma's 10th governor and oil man, Ernest Whitworth Marland. The Grand Home is 16,500 square feet, with 22 rooms situated over four different levels. The home's era is 1916 to 1928, and so we're kind of like a miniature Downton Abbey. Owned by the city of Ponca City, the Grand Home is open to the public for tours. But as you meander through each room, you'll learn more than the history of Marland and his contributions to the state and oil industry. He had wonderful relations with the local tribes. Of course, he was drilling on some of their land and then they were sharing in the profits. But at the same time, Marlin was a very benevolent man. He was very charitable. It was through these relationships that inspired him to start an Indian museum, as he called it, in 1926, to showcase the local tribes. It's now housed inside several areas of the home, beginning with the matriarch room, Marlin's first wife, Mary Virginia's bedroom. We have women's and children's items there. We also have a touch and feel exhibit of fabrics and beads and things that, that women would have used to um, make clothing and adorn their clothing. In what used to be E.W. Marlin's bedroom on the West End, we have a patriarchal exhibit of uh, men's items. This room is full of men's items from the local tribes, including the Ponca, Osage, and Kaw, and includes ceremonial clothing, musical instruments, and pipes. There's also another touch and feel exhibit of hides, furs, and bones, and a display of the many uses of the deer and buffalo. I have to commend uh, that population because they were the first recycle, go green group. I mean, they didn't waste anything. In the adjoining room is the Bartram collection. Fred Bartram was Marlin's accountant, who'd also spent time on several different reservations as a teacher and Indian agent. So we have a number of uh, wooden items and baskets that were woven from, you know, the reeds and the grasses there and even cedar bark. And um, then in the southwest, uh, we have some really nice pottery and kachina dolls that Mr. Bartram collected. Then in the basement where the family's recreation room and indoor pool is located, you can find an archaeology exhibit. Marlin funded an archaeology dig in 1926 along the Arkansas River, about 10 miles north of Ponca City. Where the Wichita tribe traded with the French. They traded for buffalo hides and furs and um, uh, what, whatever a buffalo could provide. The dig unearthed several artifacts, including arrow points and tools made from bones and rocks. Well, our collection's very unique, definitely one-of-a-kind items. To guide visitors through part of Oklahoma's rich Indian history. Discovering Oklahoma and Ponca City, Deanne Stein. You'll find the Marlin Grand Home at 1000 East Grand Avenue in Ponca City. They're open 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday, closed on major holidays. And now we're going to go from art and history to the Oklahoma outdoors. That's right. If you've ever wanted to try your hand at fly fishing, you're in luck. And you don't even have to leave Oklahoma to do it. Photojournalist Casey Kennedy is going to take us to a fly fishing class in the heart of the state. We're talking about Arcadia Lake. It's seven foot six inches, and it's four piece. You know, this night's nice seven foot six rod. We're at the Arcadia Conservation Education Area at our education building here today, and we're gonna be putting on a basic fly fishing class. Uh, the class is intended for uh, people interested in taking on the sport of fly fishing or even people who maybe have been fly fishing but want to get a little uh, more information before they really uh, dive into it. Uh, participants who go through the class today will have the opportunity to uh, spend about an hour learning about some of the basics. There will be an in-class instruction period uh, where they'll go over some of the basics of fly fishing, some of the equipment. Uh, and then following that, they'll spend about 30, 45 minutes casting, actually practicing fly fishing, because that part itself is pretty challenging. 
Uh, and then once they finish all that, all these skills and stuff they've learned, they're going to apply those uh, on the water and get a chance to catch a fish. You buy the chest waders, those are great until it hits 110 outside. The interesting thing is a lot of people think fly fishing is all about trout and wading in a stream and river runs through it. Fly fishing is a style, okay, and I fish as many ponds as I do trout fishing in a river. A pinch release. Um, caught more catfish on a fly rod than I have on a spinning rod. So it's a style of fishing, not just, it's not called a trout rod, it's a fly rod. So bluegill on a fly rod is an absolute hoot. I love the sport, love to do it, and um, have a lot of fun doing it. We take up to 20 people at a time, so there's 20 slots available in each class, and the class is free. It, honestly, it's more relaxing to me. It's, it's, it's the movement of it. You know, you can you can set up a regular rod and go out and just sit and wait for the bell to ring, but this is, you're actively participating in it. I really enjoy that. Plus, I want to get on the river more. You don't have to have any equipment. You don't have to have any background. We're going to give you that. Um, hopefully, when you leave here, you've got working knowledge of the equipment, what you might need to purchase, what you might already have that you now know how to use a little better, and then um, you can go fly fishing. The Oklahoma Wildlife Department sponsors many fishing classes. Head to their website at wildlifedepartment.com to learn more. And then you'll need a copy of the Oklahoma Fishing Trail brochure. Head to travelok.com to request your copy or download the electronic version. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. And we have boho, hippie, southwest, um, we even have a few cowboy Things. We'll take you to a shopper's paradise on Route 66. We came to know that there's no Indian restaurant here, you know. Mm -hmm. So we want the people to really know about our tastes and our culture. And authentic Indian cuisine in the heart of Oklahoma will show you where. 20 made in Oklahoma vendors uh, that range from anywhere from hot sauce to salsa, barbecue sauce, uh, snack mixes, relishes. Plus the hot spot in northeastern Oklahoma for spices and so much more coming up right here on Discover Oklahoma. In the land of wonder and awe, you won't believe you see what you saw. Where there's something to do for young and for old, where stories are written and then they're retold. Visit TravelOK.com today. Come see for yourself and come out to play. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from Kernels and Candies in Northwest Oklahoma City, home to all sorts of sweet and savory treats. A great place to hit up if you're in need of a quick gift. Absolutely, and we're going to take you to another great place to do some shopping in Central Oklahoma. It's called the Urban Boondocks Market. It's in Yukon. I love this place. You need to check it out. I think that from what we, what our vision of the shop was, and then from what we've really consistently heard from customers is that they're just is not another place like this. That's a very good way to describe the urban boondocks market in Yukon. It's also quite colorful, bright, vibrant, and full of joyful energy. And they have a stunning array of items for everyone. And by everyone, I mean this is not a boutique. When I was first deciding on the name for the shop and everything, the reason that we introduced the word market was because to me, market has that feel of being more of an experience instead of just a place to go and shop and check out and take your stuff home. We blended a cultural and spiritual gifts in a really special way and brought in a lot of different things from different places and different people, but it still was a cohesive mix. And I think that that's what it feels like too. So they have gifts, clothing, jewelry, some of which Desiree makes herself, and they have Oklahoma and Route 66 pieces. And we have boho, hippie, southwest, um, we even have a few cowboy things. I mean, we've got a real good mix. At Urban Boondocks Market, gift givers have so many options to peruse, and what you will find here is made in Oklahoma craftspeople, one of whom is Hal Wiederman, whose story is quite touching and personal. We donate 100% of the proceeds from his bowls to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation at his request. Tommy from Steampunk Industrial Lamps is another local artist. The vintage and locally made sterling and turquoise jewelry are big sellers, as are these. The old classic rock band t-shirts that we have tons and tons of have been fantastic. A lot of the Oklahoma stuff, people love getting gifts and pieces that are Oklahoma inspired. And that leads me into another favorite sold here, one that Desiree makes herself. 
I use real red dirt and pottery glaze and I do little Oklahomas, little Oklahoma shapes on the pottery. So it's a real piece of Oklahoma's heartland that you give to someone or you keep for yourself on a little piece of pottery. So, and people say, where'd you get the red dirt? And I say, right out there right with outside. a spoon. <laughs> Definitely the handmade jewelry. Uh, she always has so many pretty pieces um, in the store that she makes. Um, you can get something that's unique that she maybe makes just one of. Um, so it can be a special gift. Young or old, men and women, everyone can shop here and have fun. The shopping experience at Urban Boondocks Market is enjoyable and satisfying as you are sure to find something you'll like. It's one of our favorite things to hear is that they just love the vibe that it's comfortable it's a place that you can hang out which is exactly what we want that's what goes back to the word market you will find the urban boondocks market at 115 west main street in yukon now heads up they are closed sunday monday and tuesday they're open at 11 a.m to 6 p.m wednesday through saturday now normally it's dino that's worked up an appetite after all that shopping but today it's me it's you well we have a spot for you good shelly mills is going to take us to a unique restaurant it's an indian restaurant called fusion kitchen and it's in midwest city the lunch crowd at fusion kitchen in midwest city can really pack this small dining room this restaurant specializing in indian cuisine is a favorite of those looking for a unique flavor we go by the customers according to their taste. If they want spicy, we give them spicy. When, if they want mild, we give them mild. There are different curries on the menu each day, some spicy and some for those who prefer a milder taste, along with several other items. They allow customers to try them before they order to make sure they're getting something they like. I like all of it. The, uh, there are four curries every day and something different, so even for the regulars, uh, coming back again and again is certainly possible because it's never the same menu twice. The bright red Chicken 65 is a crowd favorite. Everybody like it. Chicken Barani is another favorite. It is a rice mixed with the, with the chicken and it is all the way from India. So everything tastes natural and tastes freshly prepared. The mango lassi, which is similar to a mango smoothie, is the recommended drink. And you can top it all off with kulfi, a sort of popsicle ice cream stick made with different nuts and creams. We really want the customers to be happy and, and love our food. We want them to come back again and again. They also have beautiful jewelry and clothing from India for customers to browse through and purchase. Prasanna Takur has only been here in Oklahoma for a few months. Her family took over this restaurant, but she says it's been delightful to meet the customers. We came to know that there's no Indian restaurant here, you know. So we want the people to really know about our tastes and our culture. Dave Haas is a frequent customer. He loves the variety and tells everyone he knows to give Fusion Kitchen a try. This is one of those little hidden gems that you have to go looking for. Fusion Kitchen is located just north of Southeast 15th Street along the east side of Air Depot here in the Holiday Square Shopping Center. If you have any trouble finding it, just look for the bright orange wall. In Midwest City, I'm Shelly Mills for Discover Oklahoma. Fusion Kitchen is at 1100 South Air Depot in Midwest City. They're open 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday, closed Sunday. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. There's nothing around that's got as big a selection as they got. They say some like it hot, and we've got just the place for those folks to stop and shop. Clanton's has the best chicken bite steak in the whole state of Oklahoma. And we're putting that claim to the test. See how it turns out when Discover Oklahoma continues. Maybe it's time to take in the view and discover yourself in the land of what's new. Here, history happens in the blink of an eye, and learning is fun. You can even ask why. At TravelOK.com, find even more. Come see for yourself, and then go explore. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma. We're enjoying all the great treats inside Kernels and Candies in Northwest Oklahoma City. This place is pretty awesome. There is so much to snack on. Absolutely, and they have great products here, but I think it's time to kick it up a notch. All right, well, Julie Chen is going to take us to Fire in the Hole in Owasso. Oh, it's very mild, very kid-friendly. Kathy Miller owns one of the hottest stores around. We are actually the only hot sauce shop of our type in northeastern Oklahoma. At Fire in the Hole, you'll find more than 500 hot sauces, ranging from mild to mind-blowing. That's a big misconception yeah. that everything in here is hot. 
it's not. We do sweet to heat. Um, we like flavor. We promote flavor. If you didn't have flavor, it's not coming in. You'll also find rubs, jellies, dips, desserts, and more. Many of the products are made in the Sooner State. 20 made in Oklahoma vendors. Uh, that range from anywhere from hot sauce to salsa, barbecue sauce, uh, snack mixes, relishes. There's nothing around that's got as big a selection as they got. The store is organized by section, and the shelves are stacked according to heat. The bottom shelf is going to be your mild and below mild, and it goes up from there. So the top shelf is going to be your extremes. It can be anywhere from 100,000 Scoville units to 4 million Scoville units. You have to be at least 18 to buy the extremes and it's suggested you use them sparingly. The extremes have flavor. You just have to know how to do it. I mean, you're not going to take it and just gunk it on because then it's going to hurt, but if you just take a little bit, there's good flavor to it. And when you stop in, you can try it before you buy it. They have a full sample bar here with over 60 things you can sample. Everything from extreme to mild. I'll take something wimpy, please. Thank you. Mmm, that's good. When we start sampling, we start, if they don't know where their heat level is and they have no idea, um, we start real low and work our way up and we come to a level to where they tell us it's too hot. And then we stop, like no more. Fire in the Hole's top sellers include Albert's Gourmet Sauce, which is made in Oklahoma, and the house label Triple X Garlic. It's mid-range, it's not, it's just good flavor. Another one is the TNA Raging Reaper. Uh, that is one of the extremes that has a lot of flavor and it's made locally. The hottest thing in here is this gummy bear. It's nine million Scoville units. There are also treats with less heat. Chocolate, it's a hot chocolate. And it's, it's got a little bite to it, it lets you know it's there. The cheesecake, really good. The, uh, the rubs are really good. The, we've tried just a little bit of everything. Fire in the Hole hands out recipes and offers a service discount. Whether you're shopping for yourself or someone special, at Fire in the Hole, you can really spice things up. So I get all of my gifts here for people at like Christmas and birthdays and when we do gift baskets for fundraising. We just come in here, I ask Kathy, you know, help me out, and then we find a mix of, you know, the right heat and everything for whoever we're buying for. In Owasso, I'm Julie Chin, Discovering Oklahoma. Fire in the Hole is located at 126 South Main Street in Owasso. They're open 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday, or check in with them for some extended hours during the holidays. Up next on Discover Oklahoma. We um, do pies and cobblers. Every day we always have our chocolate cream and coconut cream pies, which we make here, and our lemon meringue. Make the drive for dinner, but be sure to save room for dessert. The spot Route 66 travelers say is a must stop when Discover Oklahoma continues. Want to discover even more about the show? Go online and watch Discover Oklahoma anywhere, anytime. Catch up on missed episodes, track down interesting locations, and submit your own story ideas. Start exploring today at discoveroklahomatv.com. We've had a great time here today at Kernels and Candies. And I hate to bring this up, but as much as we would like to, we cannot live on popcorn and candy alone. What? Come on, Dino. <laughs> Sorry, but it would be fun. I know, it would be a lot of fun, but we do have a great place for you to grab some of the best comfort food in Oklahoma. It's at Clanton's Cafe on Route 66 in Venita. We're right now in Venita, Oklahoma, which is pretty much halfway between Joplin and, and Tulsa. Been coming here for 30 years, 35 years, and probably have the same thing fairly often. Always friendly, friendly white faces and waitresses, and of course the Patricks. High energy uh, place. It's it's you know a lot of fun. The, the people walk around. They have a smile on their face. Uh, they care about what's going on. They care about the customers. Uh, uh, a lot of the customers have been coming here for uh, many, many years, a lot of our local people, so it's a big, it's a big thing. We have been here for uh, 20 years. We took over the restaurant from my mother and father-in-law. 
Uh, it's been in the family since 1927. We are the fourth generation, my wife being the Clanton, the oldest continuous family-owned restaurant on Route 66. We have a lot of foreign customers that are doing Route 66. I don't know if people around the country realize how popular that is with other countries. So we'll have a lot of Australians at one time, then we might have a lot of Norwegians, and then um, it seems like in the past couple of years we've had a lot of Chinese and a lot of people from Japan. They don't understand some of our, our menu items and it's interesting to get to explain a calf fry to them. <laughs> we have a personality. You know, you walk into Clanton's and people come up and say, hey, how are you doing? Glad to see you. And they mean it. And uh, I go around and anybody that I don't know at the tables, I, I introduce myself and, and we become friends. <laughs> Clanton's has the best chicken bite steak in the whole state of Oklahoma. It's filling, it's very tender, and it's always the best. I, I know to me it is. You know? The chicken fried steak. We sold over 50,000 of them last year, so I mean that's that's several herds of cattle that we've pushed through this place in the year. We do uh, great omelets, the uh, Western omelet or Denver omelet as uh, people know it, Spanish, bacon, cheese, sausage, you know, pretty much whatever you want in one. Our grilled chicken breast, pork chops, calf fries, chicken fried steak, we have all kinds of burgers. Uh, sandwiches, we do homemade potato chips, our fries are all hand cut, um, our mashed potatoes are all hand peeled, um, you know we do predominantly everything from scratch. We um, do pies and cobblers, every day we always have our chocolate cream and coconut cream pies which we make here and our lemon meringue. And we do our burgers on the flat grill, not on the char grill, and we do our buns on there so they're just not a greasy burger but they're a juicy you know, tasty burger. We have a book up there that people have been signing for years, and it's really interesting to go back through and see where everybody's from, even just from around the, the country, you know, just probably from every state we've had, and, and I would say probably close to every country. And it's just, it's funny to think, you know, this little place on Route 66, and I, and I know there's other places, you know, from Chicago to LA that, that stop, but it really is interesting to, to have them do it. Every time I come to Benita, I gotta come to Clanton. Clanton's Cafe is open 6.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday and 7 to 2 on Saturday. They're closed on Sundays. And no matter where your next road trip takes you, the Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide will help you find a great place to eat. Just log on to our website, TravelOK.com, and click Request Free Brochures to get your copy. A big thank you to the great folks here at Colonels and Candies for hosting us this week. You'll find them at 7640 Northwest Expressway in Oklahoma City in the shopping center in front of Home Depot. They're open 1030 to 530 on Monday and until 630 Tuesday through Saturday. They're closed on Sundays. But hit up their website, kernelsandcandies.com, to order online. And if you're looking for a local Oklahoma-based fundraiser for your group, they'll help you out with that, too. And coming up next Saturday on Discover Oklahoma, Indoor Fun in Northeast Oklahoma. Who cares if it's too cold or too hot outside? And the Oklahoma-owned shop that's so popular they've opened a second location. We've got great gift ideas next week right here on Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember... There's always something to discover in Oklahoma.